Hey, Sean McElroy here. I'm sure you saw by the title of this video, it's all about the 2025 Lincoln Navigator. Now, we did get to talk about this vehicle on last week's AutoLine Daily, and I will provide a link to that if you'd like to see more. But I also got to check it out in person and talk to a few Lincoln experts about some of the things that we didn't talk about in that daily. So here it is. 2025 Lincoln Navigator. Uh, clearly, you can see that the car is much more bolder. Uh, and this particular model is our jet pack. And really what that means is that all the appliques and details are dip, dipped in um, high gloss black. But really, the signature of the car is the face. The signature grille uh, has been scaled and our signature double DRL on the front of the car uh, also has been incorporated and, and, and done in a much more amplified way. Uh, if we go to the side of the car, this particular model has the 22 inch uh, high gloss black wheels and something that uh, on this new Navigator, the 22s are the smallest wheels uh, on the product. And there is a 24 offering as well. Uh, the details, the side batch, all now in high gloss black. The roof rack now is more incorporated and it has, it's a slimmer profile, allows you to see the gesture of the car a little bit better. There is a detail in the window uh, that matches the detail that is in the front headlamp as well as the rear tail lamp. And I think really what you can just notice when you look at the car is that all of these things have been coordinated and brought to a sense of greater harmony, right? Remember, all Lincolns have to emphasize the horizontality and it gives a sense of equilibrium, not just to the face, but also on the side as well as the rear. On the rear of the car, the graphic that was repeated in the front has now been turned down. Uh, and this is the first navigator to have a split gate. And in that split gate, of course, it makes it more comfortable for our customers in terms of accessibility. But really the last detail on the exterior is the wiper blade being integrated to the spoiler, really where God intended it to be. So right away in Lincoln, our goal is always to create a sanctuary within the interior space. And in the 2025 Navigator, we've used the idea of sanctuary and elevate it through technology. Uh, it starts right away with our 48 inch display, uh, which instantly sets you at ease with putting your eyes up and out towards the road. Um, the large size of it also allows us to distribute the information so it's easily digestible. And that width of that screen is continued with the technology of our Revel Ultima system with the two additional speakers here. And that's, that's two of the 28 within the interior space. Um, the screen allows us also to keep a low profile of the instrument panel. Um, this is a large vehicle and having that command over surface and volume is really important in controlling the vehicle and gives you a sense of confidence. In regards to the steering wheel itself, uh, it's been reshaped to see above the wheel to look to take advantage of that uh, horizon display. Uh, we also are entailing uh, contextual controls, which do more than just the standard volume cruise control execution, but also allow you to adjust things like mirrors and steering wheel. Um, the horizontal continues through the interior space and actually harkens to a little bit of the elements of the exterior with the uh, horizontal line from the electromechanical registers that kick up. Uh, the electromechanical registers give us an advantage of, of creating unique experiences of all on body, off body, and maybe even cycling and moving air depending on the experience. The screen itself is set a little bit lower below that horizon line of the, the topper and it allows it to be at your fingertips uh, where we also have a handful of controls present so the ones that are most used are there all the time. Um, this logic also allows us to reduce the amount of physical buttons and touch points or within the interior space. Uh, we've taken advantage of that and, and elevated a certain detail like this crystal uh, volume knob just to add that additional luxurious touch. Um, but in addition to that, it's placed beautifully on this uh, large wide console, which I think personally reminds me a little bit about furniture or coffee table, a little bit of connection between the two occupants. Something in Lincoln and specifically Navigator, we've really taken advantage of the split armrest. It gives a bit of individuality to each one of the, uh, the, the driver and passenger. In the seat, we're dealing with our perfect position seats. In this reserve, we're dealing with a 24-way black label. It's all the way up to 30-way. As you move into the rear, in this specific instance, we're showing it with two captain's chairs, but we also offer it with a bench, as well as a, the Lincoln tailored, power, powered tailored seats 
and uh, those are power tilt fold with the addition of an eight-way moving system uh, heated ventilated and as well as uh, massaging features um, so again the luxury in that first class experience happens in the first second and even in third row where we offer now in black label a heated seat so the accommodation continues all the way through simple things that aren't necessarily luxurious but are very much appreciated maybe by uh, luxury in a teenager sense uh, we have 14 usbs throughout the interior space ample cup holders all the things that make a long journey possible and, the, and with lincoln we've always leaned into the idea that journey is a reward and i think in this vehicle it does that so there you get some inside thoughts of what went into the new lincoln navigator and remember if you'd like to learn more we'll provide a link to that autoline daily